Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Ethanol Endeavours. In today's video we're going to be looking at this Angioletti uh, Italian Cider, which I'm quite excited about. Um, I haven't tried a, um, well maybe I have, but like it's not been like a thing that I've tried an Italian cider or anything. The only other cider outside of like the UK or Ireland, I suppose, is um, that I can think off the top of my head is um, that Gallipet, the Gallipet Cider. Um, that was French. Um, there's a video on that which you can watch. That was that was very interesting actually. It had a very different taste to what, um, you know what I, what I'm used to. So I'm hoping this is going to have also a quite distinguished taste. I mean, just looking from the aesthetic, it's already very different from what you might expect from a traditional cider. You know, it looks like a wine bottle really. A I mean, obviously it's a pint. It's you know, if it's 500 milliliters, it's not like a 750. However, I just I just love this personally. Um, very, and and in in the labelling as well, you know, very simple. Trying to get the light out of the way there, so it says craft Italian cider, six point eight percent, and then what does it say here? It says um, vero citro italiano. What is ever? Uh, I don't know what that means. Reserva, vero citro. Oh, I think it, I think citro, uh, cider. Oh, I'm an idiot. I think it just says craft Italian cider, so just in Italian. That would make sense. Uh, I don't know what Reserva means. And then um, at the back here it says, um, made from 100% Italian apple juice, no concentrate, suitable, uh, yeah, suitable for vegetarians, whatever. Um, product of Italy. And also, I should mention Um I don't know if the camera will pick that up, really, but it says there, Angio... Letty and then cider, as in, um, like how we spell cider, C I D E R. Um, yeah, I love the aesthetics. Um, the bottle, nice bottle, and but what I really personally love, what I think is a really nice feature, is how it has the um, covered, uh, cut the the covered uh, bottle cap. Sorry. I think I think that like 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 you know how the wine bottles would have those the foil around it and like the little um, wire, chicken wire thing, kind of thing, um, I really, I really like this, personally, just from the aesthetics, it's very different already, so, um, and as well, this isn't one of those annoying, um, this isn't one of those annoying ones, oh, maybe it is, actually, yeah, I, th I thought it wasn't going to be, but I think it is, uh, where you, where you have to get the knife, however, um, I'm not sure if that's, let me just see if you can open it without having to use, thing you might oh yeah no you can yeah no never mind sorry i'm not an expert in those things so yeah no that comes off quite nicely uh there's a cap with a little thing around it i don't know if it i don't know if there's a little surprise waiting i want to see if there's a little thing like underneath the cap oh it's red the cap is red i wonder if they just like got like ordered in bulk loads of loads of bottle caps um and it appears to just be a traditional red wolf cap. Interesting. I thought I'd try that anyway. So now here we are, smelling it. Wow! What the hell? It smells weird. It smells. It has like a smell of wine. It's very weird. Let me pour it out, first of all, to see the colour, and also because sometimes it can taste differently. When you're smelling it directly from the bottle, it can taste a little funny. Oh, wow, that's light. What the heck? This is so weird. That literally looks like white wine. I could literally just be... They could have just bottled white wine. I wouldn't even know. I mean, it's 6.8, so it is strong, and that is a particular thing that excites, excited me. Um, that, it was, that it was a stronger cider. So let me just smell it again. That really smells like white wine. It is as if it was white wine, but instead of having, I guess, the grape smell, it has like a little apple twinge to it, particularly the end of the in inhalation. It is so strange. I, I, I don't know if they made it in a similar way that they would make wine, except they just, I don't particularly know distilleries and I've, I mean, I've started sort of making my own cider and stuff like that, but that's just those kits. I don't know how you make wine, and I don't know how they compare at all. 
this is strange. This is really strange. This is, uh, which is this what I was hoping for? I thought it was going to be something different, particularly with the like the French one as well. It was just so weird, and this is also very weird. So now I'm going to stop babbling and drink it. Wow. So it doesn't taste like white wine. Thank God. Um, well, not thank God, but you know, not preferable. Wow, so, hang on, so, <laughs> taste of apples, I can definitely tell you that, it has, it tastes of apples kind of the same way I would, I would describe a Thatcher's of tasting of apples, it's kind of like, it's quite, it's quite prominent apple flavour, um, this is very easy to drink, for 6.8%, this is very easy to drink. Um, like I, I, like I feel like I could like just drink the whole glass if I wanted to. Um, it's quite light, in fact, as well. I would say I wouldn't say it's particularly. I mean, it's not light like an like an ale or anything, of course, but it's it's lighter than traditional than traditional like strong strong drinks, and it's got a very sweet taste to it. Um, there's n it's really not dry in any way, really not dry. Um, there's n there's none of that, and I would wonder if you have to give this just to a normal non cider drinker who traditionally can't handle um, dry drink like dr like like English like or I guess like a Magnus or something Irish, um, how they would how they would have this. But this is nice. This is really nice. This is sweet, um, and it's fancy, and it's strong. This is this is good. Like, this is a good drink. I recommend this. Um, obviously, I've had, like, very much stronger ciders, and I've gotten used to those, like, really, um, you know, like, like, you know, Henry Wesson's and K-Cider, and, like, you know, 8% and above, and I can drink those, like, like, just like a normal drink, really, that's what I usually drink to get drunk, um, but, so, you know, I, d I guess I do have a bit of experience and a bit of bias, so, if you're a new drinker, this wouldn't, maybe be the same experience however if you are a new drinker drink this then then like k cider or any or anything else that you're uncomfortable drinking because this is nice this is easy to drink and i would drink this i would drink this a lot i mean it's sweet and that's the main thing the flavor apples it's it's difficult to describe which is what i was having a problem with the french one because it's just i can't compare it to anything it's a completely individual flavor and if you are looking for that really recommend this um if you're looking for something different for something fancy it was um it was two pound so if i'm from sainsbury's if i'm not mistaken um yes it was two pound four pounds a liter i remember um and yes you can get these i think they also did a rosé version um which was a little cheaper a little weaker as well of course um, but yes, no, I recommend this. I really do. It's really nice. It um. Oh, I I like it. It's got a it's got a really good flavour. It hits the back of the tongue beautifully. The sides, the back, the, like the uh, back sides of the tongue beautifully. It's it's sweet. It's like actually, you know, I think maybe this is a way to describe it. It's like white wine. If it didn't have, if it was more, if it was sweet, like a sweet white wine, and it didn't have, I don't know how to, I guess the dryness of the white wine, I don't know what you'd say in white wine, in wine terms, personally, but it's, it, that's kind of what it actually tastes like. Um, it's not like a traditional cider at all, it doesn't smell like one, doesn't look like one, and it certainly doesn't taste like one, however, it'll get you the same place if you drink Four, four of these of you know well three maybe if you're not used to it four five you know it really will so yeah no i recommend this i recommend this this um angioletti i don't know if they have an instagram or anything um but they definitely have a, a website which i implore you to look at especially if you're interested in these in, interested in um um if you're interested in it uh, even if you're not, I would suggest look at it because maybe they have something nice uh, that you would be interested in. That obviously, I know they do the rosé, but they possibly have other things that they are are doing. 
And yes, that's been today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, please leave a like and a comment and share and subscribe and everything like that. And I'll see you in the next video. So thank you for watching and goodbye.